A truck that isn't moving is a truck that's losing money, time, and trust. No company knows that better than Tesla. And Elon Musk isn't the kind of guy to let one of his machines sit around collecting dust. The Tesla Semi, despite years of delays and uncertainty, is finally starting to look like it's ready to go mainstream. After years of waiting, the electric revolution in trucking might be about to hit the road in full force. It started with a small detail. A drone video taken near the Giga Nevada site showed something unusual, something Tesla didn't seem to want people to see. Among rows of parts and the usual factory chaos sat a Tesla semi. But this one was different. It was shrink-wrapped tightly and sitting on a huge pallet, like it was ready to be shipped somewhere. It didn't match the standard design either. This one looked longer. The shape was off. Something was clearly going on. People started to dig. Some speculated this was a new version of the semi. And there's a lot to support that theory. Dan Priestley, one of Tesla's lead voices on the semi project, had already confirmed that updates were in the works. Production was getting closer. Adjustments were being made before mass production kicked off. And now, we might be seeing the first signs of that new version making its way out into the world. That longer body wasn't an illusion. It likely points to a sleeper cab being added, something long-haul truckers have wanted from the start. Up until now, the Tesla Semi has only been really suited for shorter trips. Without a place to rest, drivers couldn't realistically spend multiple days on the road. A sleeper cab changes that completely. It gives the Semi the edge it needs to go up against traditional diesel trucks built for long-distance freight. And that's not the only change. Tesla's been quietly working on upgrades to the Semi's performance and design. New mirrors are being added to improve visibility. A drop glass window is now part of the design, making it easier for drivers to navigate tight areas like ports and toll stations. Even the front of the truck is being reshaped slightly to improve aerodynamics and handling. But the most important update might be under the hood. Tesla is introducing a brand new high-voltage battery for the Semi. This battery is cheaper to manufacture and more efficient. Despite having less energy capacity than the previous version, it still provides the same range. Through smarter energy use and engineering refinements that boost efficiency by over 7%. That means the truck can go just as far on a smaller, lighter, and cheaper battery. In a vehicle where weight and cost matter immensely, that's a massive improvement. Originally, People thought the Semi would be upgraded to Tesla's latest 4,680 battery cells. These are the same cells being used in the Cybertruck and offer huge advantages in cost and power. But surprisingly, that doesn't seem to be the case, at least not yet. For now, the Semi will stick with a different battery setup better suited for the truck's specific demands. Maybe the 4680 cells will come later, but for now, Tesla is opting for what works best to get production moving. Back to that mysterious wrapped semi. Its shape hints strongly at a sleeper cab being added. Priestley has even said in the past that Tesla plans to introduce a version with a dedicated sleeping area. Not just a makeshift space in the main cab, but an actual compartment behind the driver's seat. That could mean a fold-out bed built into a separate rear module. Enough space for two drivers to rest comfortably on multi-day journeys. This is more than a comfort upgrade. It's a strategic move. It allows Tesla to expand the semi's role from short-haul trucking into full-fledged cross-country logistics. And by building the sleeper space into a rear section instead of squeezing it into the cabin, Tesla avoids a complete redesign of the cab's interior, saving time and avoiding more production delays. The semi already has an impressive 500-mile range, but that doesn't mean much without driver accommodations. With this update, the truck becomes far more practical for companies with longer delivery routes. The sleeper version would finally allow Tesla to target the massive long-haul market that's been dominated by diesel giants for decades. Meanwhile, Tesla's ambitions are no longer limited to North America. The company is quietly preparing to launch the semi in Europe. A new business development lead has been hired for the European market, someone with deep experience in electric vehicles and logistics. This suggests that Tesla is laying the groundwork to bring its electric truck to a whole new continent. Musk has mentioned this before. At a Giga Berlin event, he said it made sense to build the semi in Europe. And it does. Diesel prices in Europe are high. 
Tolls can add up to tens of thousands of dollars per year per truck. Electric trucks could cut those costs significantly, making them an attractive option for European fleets. But entering Europe won't be easy. The market is crowded with electric truck options from companies like Volvo and Mercedes. And European trucks are designed very differently from their American counterparts. They're shorter, narrower, and designed to squeeze through tight urban spaces. Tesla's current semi-design is big and bold, great for the wide highways of the US, but less ideal for Europe's narrower roads. Tesla will likely need to make changes. The width and cabin layout of the semi don't match European standards. Most trucks there are cab-over style, placing the driver above the engine. It's less comfortable but saves space. In contrast, the semi's design puts the driver in the center, further complicating the issue. To sell the truck in Europe, Tesla will probably need to shift the driving position to the left and adjust the overall size. Despite these hurdles, interest is building. A Norwegian food distributor has already placed an order for 10 semis. That shows there's real demand, and Tesla is working behind the scenes to meet it. But it'll take time. Full production in the US is just now beginning. A European version likely won't hit roads until at least 2026. All of this points to one thing. Tesla is serious about the semi. It's no longer a concept or a side project. Elon Musk sees it as a cornerstone of Tesla's future. A way to cut transportation emissions, slash operating costs for trucking companies, and show that electric power works even in the heaviest, most demanding vehicles. Companies like Pepsi, Costco, and Walmart aren't waiting around. They've already started testing the semi in real-world logistics. That alone speaks volumes. The interest is there. The market is shifting. And the truck that once symbolized delays is now leading the charge. It took years to get here. But if the past few months are any indication, the Tesla Semi is finally on the move. And once it starts rolling, there's a good chance it won't stop.